100 million people in U.S. West and Midwest face summer blackouts. This summer, around 100 million people in the United States West and Midwest will be without power as hot weather, overworked power plants, and the inconstancy of renewable energy sources combine to produce a perfect storm of difficulties. The North American Electric Reliability Corporation, NERC, issued this warning in a recent report releasing a map showing which states are most vulnerable to large-scale disruptions. The states with the highest risk levels are located in the Mid-Continent Independent System Operators Power Grid region. Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, and Wisconsin in particular are in jeopardy. Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, and a tiny portion of East Texas are also at risk. The high-risk rating means the existing energy grid is potentially insufficient to satisfy peak load during both regular and exceptional conditions. The report is a grim and cautionary tale, according to industry experts. NERC discovered that once energy demand returns to pre-pandemic levels, power supplies will be stretched thin. Furthermore, traditional power plants are shutting down quicker than renewable energy sources are coming online, resulting in a power gap that raises hazards at times of need, such as during hot summers. Since last summer, generation capacity in the Midwest has been reduced by 2.3% due to the closure of aging power facilities. Furthermore, the remaining coal and natural gas plants consequently are working harder than before, increasing the danger of failure. Tornado damage to a crucial transmission line in the region in December has complicated issues even more. Repairs are expected to be finished in June, and the damage is particularly concerning because the area relies on power from neighboring regions to meet demand and keep the energy system working. According to NERC, every state further west of that area faces an increased risk. This indicates that the power grid should have enough resources to meet peak demand under normal conditions, but may be insufficient under exceptional situations. California grid operators have already warned citizens that blackouts may occur during the next three summers as the state transitions to renewable energy. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It helps others find our content. And please visit economists.com for additional news, information, resources, and references.